Well, Peter will be home before you know it. Yeah, if only it were that simple. Jenny's alive because of him. Don't get any more simple than that. Yeah, I guess. Now we just need the police to see it like that. Mm. Oh, on a slightly more upbeat subject, got a nice email from my boss. You and Ryan scored me some brownie points yesterday. Good. It was nice just to feel useful. Look, I know you like to keep busy. Maybe you should treat this as an opportunity to mentally reset. Pursue new avenues. Be spontaneous. I could do with a bit more spontaneity in my life. Make it happen. All right, I'm going to go. I'll leave you to self-manifest. See you later. Bye. Hi, Ryan. No, lady will leisure me. Yeah, I'd love some company. All right, I'll see you around lunchtime. Time, but yeah. I got bored. Can I come in? Sure. Uh, unless you're about to do your thing. No, 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 of course not. No, um, I've just finished up a work. Seriously? Look at you, you barely worked up a sweat. Oh, it was a light session. So you still got plenty of energy? Energy? Hmm? For a walk. I need to get my steps in. Uh... Ah, come on. Think of it as a warm down for helps. Yeah, all right. Sounds good. Why don't you wait downstairs in the uh, cake shop and I'll, I'll just jump in the shower. It won't be a minute. You're getting bashful in your old age. Something like that. Please. OK, I can take a hint. Just hurry up. Right. <sighs> I can't wait for a sit down. You're not even tired, are you? No, not really. Sometimes. Well, you're the one that said you wanted to go for a walk. Yeah, a walk, not a full on march. Feet are killing me. Yeah, well, maybe next time wear uh, more sensible shoes. Sensible shoes? Mm. What are you, my gran? I'm just saying. Are you? Yeah. I know you shook the bottle. <laughs> go on, spray that again. Admit it. All oh, that. Well, this. Oh! Sorry, mate. Ryan! Ryan, stop! Ryan! No, stop! Ryan! No, no, it no, was an accident! It was just an accident! Hey! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mate. What's your problem? Sorry. Could have really hurt that lad. The lad is fine. It's you I'm worried about. I'm OK. I'm all right. No, you're not. That look on your face. I don't want to talk about it, Daisy. What was going through your head? Please tell me. I thought the kid was... I thought it was Justin. You had a flashback. OK. OK, well, then it wasn't your fault. You know you weren't in control of your reaction. It's not as straightforward as that. Of course it is. No. You're clearly suffering from PTSD. Maybe. There was no maybe about it. I just didn't know how bad it was. It's not that bad. Don't lie to me. I was there, I'm OK? Not, I'm not lying. Why didn't you talk to me? I know I've been... I've, I've been a little preoccupied lately. There's but... nothing to talk about. Yes, there is. You cannot just bury your head in the sand about this. It is so unhealthy. Please, can we just drop it, I please? just want to help. Well, you can't! I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, OK? Look, even if you're right and uh, I have PTSD, like you reckon, it's not the only reason why I lost it.
What is this? It's testosterone. <laughs> I started taking it so, so that I could train harder. And I thought the more muscle mass I put on, it'd be like. Like what? It's gonna sound really lame to you. Try me. Like, like armor. Armor. Stop being hurt, I guess. I get that, Ryan. Really, I do. Trouble is, now you're just hurting yourself. Not to mention nearly beating Max's mate to a pulp. I know. This isn't you. Maybe I don't know who I am now, OK? OK. I'll tell you who you aren't. You aren't some juice head who's defined by the likes of online strangers. They accept me for who I am. No. No. They fantasize about the person you're pretending to be. It's, it's completely different. No, you wouldn't understand. Look, I owe you so much, and I will always care. But you're lost to yourself right now. The man I saw yesterday at the STC who reached out and just laid himself bare, that's the person you can be. It's the best version of you. And when you can see that guy in the mirror again, you let me know. Andy's using steroids. Oh, so he's told you about the testosterone, then? You knew? Since when? Uh, for a while back, but I'd hoped he'd knocked it on the head. Uh, no, no, but what he did do is lose it big time and nearly knock out Max's mate. I cannot believe he didn't tell me. Hang on, I was keeping a confidence, just like you did with his online shenanigans. That is completely different, and you know it. Max's friend could have been really hurt if I wasn't there. But you were there. Yeah, this time. Wow. And to go without a filter as well. Yes, it's a very brave thing to do. Some drying up, really. Props. That level of honesty is not easy. And that level of self-awareness. Mm. Especially from the male of the species. Hey. Hey. How's Gav? Yeah, he's all right. I explained everything Ryan's been through, and he totally gets it. Well, at least one good thing's come from today. Yeah, and what's that? Seems to have given Ryan a wake-up call. How do you mean? He's just finished the live stream, basically quit social media. It's actually pretty moving. You should probably watch it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I will. Whereas me, I'm going to go and check on Peter. <clears throat> I'll see you. See you.